And once we cross this line, you can turn those off. Uh, okay. Cross the line, turn what? Oh, uh, strobe. Yep. Going because Bravo, then that's one one right there. Okay. So we're going to hold short just that's before it. that line. All right. And I like to use these little blue lights as a reference point to stop. There you go. Good. Okay. Before take takeoff, uh, fuel selector valve is set to both. Uh, elevator trim is set for takeoff. Uh, lights are on as required, so we're going to turn. Uh, yep. So, so strobes on, strobe landing on. light on. Uh, okay. Uh, mixture is going to be rich. Alright, so we call tower. Uh, make sure you change your frequency. Runway 11, Just runway 1, taxi aircraft, cross runway 2. Good. And 125 is us. Oh, one, one, nine, oh, one, oh, 199, yeah. thank, or 119, thank you. Houston mounted tower, Epic 595, holding short uh, on Bravo, ready for departure, runway 11. Clear for 595, short tower, runway 11 for Bravo, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 595. Hey, don't forget to include your takeoff runway in your Okay, it's uh, alright for now, let's go. Yeah, always confirm your runway up. number when you read that. Clear for takeoff, runway 11. Clear for takeoff, runway 11. Tower up here, 588, we're just passing the number 7. 588, front traffic, short final, runway 7, traffic, touch and go. Oh, we have that traffic in sight, clear for touch and go, runway 7, up here, 588. That's Will you advance that throttle? Get off the brakes, heels on the floor. Use the balls of your feet to maintain runway center line. Six, 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 number two, five, Come on more than 23. Runway, seven, Air speed two, is alive. We're looking straight number down the two, runway. Side, uh, quick touch girl, runway seven, We're waiting for 55. Here it comes. Smoothly rotates. Lovely. Yep, Where keep it coming up, take, keep the nose uh, coming up. Skyhawk 532. Let's get that sight picture for 74. Rubio would like to come in for some closed traffic. Now the pattern is full, man. Try back later. There you go. All right, try to keep the sign picture for 74. This looks pretty good. Remember, just off of the curve of the dash. Oh, that'll give you a nice 74 knot climb. Here we go, 529, Travis 2 to 3 o'clock, mile and a half northbound at 1100, type unknown. Up here, 529, looking for that target. Here we go, 586, extend your down, I'll cover your base. Okay, so the side are a bit too low right now. Yeah, let that nose come up. We want 74 knots. Okay, so horizon, just off the curve of the dash. Keep the horizon right there. Okay, 529, your base target for 7's in sight. We'll advise the circle to 2. Let's try this. 95, proceed on course, free exchange approved. On course, free exchange approved. Okay, 595. Traffic. Alright. Just maintain your side picture. Uh, okay. Use trim. Don't fight the plane. Yeah, use trim. Use trim. Make your life easy. Yeah, looking good. Good. And once we reach a thousand feet, why don't we climb at eighty-five, uh, and we'll get up to three thousand feet. Uh, okay. And let's follow the, the uh, shoreline. We'll follow that southbound. Uh, okay. okay. So there's 1,000 feet. Pitch for 85. We'll do our climb checklist. 
And again, use that trip. Use that uh, trip. Okay. Under city, uh, under city traffic, uh, connection to the task, uh, for, uh, for a task, for a man out of the north. Absolutely. One thing at a time, uh, fly the airplane of, uh, first. Of under city tower, uh, north, uh, northwest bound, and at 2,300 uh, feet, uh, connection to the task, uh, for the under city traffic. So horizon, uh, on dash. Uh, okay. Horizon on dash. All right, climb. Wing flaps are up, confirmed. Engine instruments are working uh, and alive. Sorry. Uh, uh, transponder is at altitude mixture. We will lead when we get to 3,000, and landing light is off. But that's the strobe. Thank you. Landing light is off. All right, good. So let's follow the shoreline. Yep. So again, trim this out, right? Get your picture, right? And trim it out so that we can get 85. Matthew traffic, got a white and blue skyhawk just out of New Smyrna Beach over the shoreline, about three and a half miles uh, to the northeast of Massey. We are southbound, climbing through 2000. Okay, 1000 feet to go. All right, very good, Ray. So far, so good. Again, remember, use that trim, it's your friend. Yep. Right? Establish your sight picture, trim it out. Good. Okay, so what we're going to do when we get up to 3,000 feet, we're going to do uh, a bit of slow flight. Okay. Kind of review that. Uh, we'll do some steep turns. And then, like I said, when we're on the ground, uh, we're going to introduce some um, power off stalls. Uh, okay. Okay, so I'll show you how to do those. You'll have a go at doing a couple of them. Uh, and then we'll make our way back down, back to New Spring. Alright, here, Burgess. Oh, that's good. Alright, here, Burgess. Here, you and again, we're still going to carry over yeah, everything yeah. that we've North discussed about the site features. Absolutely. Okay, so you always want to make that a fundamental part of how you fly the plane. Okay, and don't forget to always also, you know, take a, a look all the way around. Absolutely. And also give you a bigger picture in helping you establish uh, level flight. Connection to you, Tim. We're about two miles to the south east of Lake Gearsford. 2500 feet, heading northbound. And right there we've got Massey. Uh, okay. Right, so it's kind of good to also start getting used to some of the landmarks around here. Okay. So we've got Massey over there. Yep. And then just to the foreground over there, that's Lake Ashby. Okay. So Massey's here, and then if you go back over there, that's Lake Ashby. Got it. And just to kind of help with your situational awareness a little bit as well. This is good, the plane is nicely trimmed. You're nice and relaxed on the controls, looking good. We're at 3,000. Okay, so establish your sight picture, allow the aircraft to accelerate a little bit. Your um, power and then trim. Okay, so power to cruise. Yep, set your cruise power. And then once you've established that, and set your trim. White Sabres connection 469. Remember, any time you change power, you're going to have to change trim. So trim should be the last thing. Got it. I see traffic. Ash practice area, 563 November Delta. What side picture are we looking for? Uh, compass just below or cutting the horizon. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, if you can get that, then that will give you a nice little level flight. There we go. Excellent. Hey, you get a and buggy heading as well, that's always helpful. Use all of the tools we have available to us. That's always a nice reminder to help keep us on heading. The Popka practice area is Cessna 51325 on the northwest okay. shore of Lake Popka. So before we get into the... Uh, 2,000 feet, we'll be doing Chandel's and Lazy 8. Uh, let's kind of review the procedure a little bit. Uh, okay. okay? Um, so we're at 3,000 feet. Um, let's go ahead and... Um, Lean the mix as well. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's that's good. Good. Connection 219, uh, about 10 east of uh, the Bithlow Towers, 1,500 to uh, the speaker. Okay, nice and gently. On stage, traffic sky, connection 210, we're right over Lake Beers for 2,500 feet, heading westbound. Oh, there you go. Good. Okay. Okay, good. So here we are, we're trimmed out. 
We leaned out. Everything is looking good. So remember, when we get into our maneuvers, we want to make sure we select an appropriate altitude. Okay, that we can perform the maneuver and also recover. Okay, this is always a pretty good, a pretty good place to start. Okay. Okay. Then we have our before maneuvering checklist, okay. right? Where we make sure we've got this Four. or both in. Rich, we won't do that yet, yep. but that'll be rich, okay. and then we get our lights on. Lights on. Okay? Then we do our clearing turn, right? So the clearing turn can be the two 90 degree turns, okay? I recommend going left on the first 90 and then back right on the second 90. So you can okay. do clearing turns that way, or you can do a 180 degree clearing turn. Either one of those are acceptable. Uh, okay. okay. Once we've done that, we then want to set the airplane up. Yep. So the first one that we're going to do, we're just going to do it clean. Okay, so we know that the aircraft is going to stall at around 48 degrees. Clean, right? So what we want to do is you want to get reduce your power and maintain altitude. Let some of that airspeed bleed off. Okay. Low 110 with flaps 10. Okay, and we're still maintaining altitude, mainly to start adding a bit of trim. Okay. Okay, below 85. I'm, 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 I'm sorry. Um, we don't need the the flaps. For not for clean. Oh yeah, we'll clean. Right. Yep, yep. So just maintain your altitude, um, and then as we're approaching 48, as you start hearing that warning horn, bump in some power so that we're maybe about 10 knots or so above that stall speed. Uh, okay. And then we're just looking to maintain altitude. All right, sounds okay. good. So let's go through those steps. You go ahead and fly them. Uh, let's actually make our clearing turn one to the door. Okay, so first we've got altitude, which is good. Altitude is good. Uh, Mixture okay, rich yeah, now. Go ahead, okay. yeah. We're going to need it rich for this All maneuver. Right. Lights on. Yep, pop it on. The land. There All you right. go. And, uh, and then let's make that 180 uh, clearing turn. Okay, everyone, that's just five and a back kilo. Three mile east of the Let's try to keep it as level as we can. There you go, and we're looking, right? We're looking outside. We're looking over every single side of the aircraft, making sure that we I'm don't have any conflicting traffic. You don't want to be seeing more and more ocean. Yep, keep that back pressure, keep that picture consistent. Uh, looks like there's some sales on the east bound right, of the uh, Okay, right, we'll give me a report on Titan Time. All right, good. Then we'll go northbound from here. Okay, yeah, lovely. Right. Now plug that heading. I'll make a radio call on your behalf. And you just go ahead and start the maneuver. Uh, okay. Massey traffic, got a white and blue Skyhawk, seven miles southeast of Massey over the shoreline, 3,000 feet northbound. We are performing slowly. Good, and make sure that you keep that right rudder as you increase your pitch. Lake Pasco traffic is just a 51325 on the north side of Lake Pasco. At 2,000 feet, departing uh, to the east, last call for Lake Pasco. Keep in trick, yep, keep that back pressure in there so we maintain 3,000. Mark City traffic, Scott IR, connection 210, field plus of Lake Beer Surge, Samaria, and Dillard. We're going to use a bit of trim to help you out as well. Back it up. Just a little bit, yep. Oh, keep coming, keep coming. Back pressure, we're about to descend. And there goes the warning horn, so just introduce a bit of power. Keep that right runner. As you introduce power, introduce more runner. All right, well, when the cell uh, is really no, close to see me, let me know. I'll come back pretty soon. Thank you, Father, and thank you. Keep that power in there. One about 18, 1900. Okay. Try 18 first and see if that helps us. There you go, keep that back pressure because we don't want to descend. Let's see traffic, Scott. Uh, no, 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 979 or Whiskey Delta, 4 Southwest Massey, uh, maneuvering 2500. I'm looking good. Hey, go we can just enjoy a bit of slow flight now. Uh, okay. Keep some of that back pressure. Yeah, because we want to keep it around about this speed. This is good, right? And if okay. you're losing altitude, add a bit more power. power. Yeah. Good. Yeah, good, good, good. And you see how the ball is kind of deflected to the left? Uh, right, that means you're probably putting in a bit too much right rudder. Okay. Let's just try to strike that balance and, and take a look outside. All right, so I'm going to show you something here. So I've got the controls. Got the controls. I've got the controls, okay? So take a look, right? If I'm outside, if I don't have right rudder, so relieve the, off the, I'll get off the rudders too, okay? Look at what the plane is doing. Look outside, look over there. What, what's happening right now? It's kind of, yeah, it's kind of going to the left, right? Get some of that right rudder back in there and try to keep that sight picture constant. Okay. okay so now I've got that lake right there. Uh -huh. Okay, and I'm keeping it right there. Okay. Hey, okay. and if I want to climb, more right rudder, 
Okay, and that lake is just staying right there. Okay, you can even use clouds. Look out the window, use some clouds. So, just climbing back up here to 3,000. Okay, and you can see airspeed is pretty steady. We're coordinated, we're going straight. All right, and so I've found the right balance of rudder pressure here right now. So I can get off the Our controls because the plane is trimmed. I have enough power put in right now that'll get us back up to 3,000. Right, and this is how, this is how you want it to be. This is the tower and the eastbound back center. You see that, right? So you ought to be able to fly the plane just like this. Right, and we've got a nice steady little climb back up to 3,000. Right, if the nose begins to go down, okay, just uh, just maintain it. But look, see how everything is constant. There isn't this shifted. Now, you keep an eye out here. Okay. Right, this is always a good reference. You can see a lot here. This can tell you what the plane is doing. Look what happens when I relieve that rudder pressure. Uh, you see how it just starts to yep. pull to the left. Got right, it. so I found that balance of just enough rudder pressure to keep us going in a straight, straight line. Got it. Okay, so I'm going to get us to 3,000. Right, we're coming up here. I'm just going to begin a gentle bank to the left. We don't really want more than 10 degrees in our slow flight here. And there we are. We're back now. We're up to 3,000. Okay, and it's just a nice gentle bank. It doesn't have to be anything more than this. And again, we're always scanning for traffic, right? This should be very, very light on the controls. Okay. Very light on the controls. I see traffic guy coming from 210. We're two miles east of Lake Okay, Bruce. you've got the flight control. I have the flight control. You have control. the last car. Yeah, keep us coming back around so we go shoreline south, okay? Uh, okay. So I'm going to get off the rudders now. You're on the rudder as well. Uh, okay. And there you go, mate, this is slow flight. Uh, okay. It's pretty easy. So when I lost altitude, it was when I was it, not pulling back well, enough. Well, it's, it's, it's a bit of a combination of the two. Okay. Uh, but mainly it's your power. So if you don't have enough power in, okay. yeah, you, you, you're going to sink. So whenever you see a sink coming in, just bump it up a few RPMs. Got it. Good morning. Okay, good. And you see how our speed is kind of high? Yeah. Right, so you can pitch up, pitch up for speed, pitch for speed. Right, and if you don't want to climb, you yeah, pull out a bit of power. Okay, connection to 19, uh, three, the tide is still 1,000. Yeah, so just play with it a little bit, right? traffic. So that you can find what that balance is. There you go, looking good mate, looking good. Thank you. Again, we can just concentrate on looking out for traffic. We can follow our, you know, landmarks here to, you know, help us navigate. Anything of that nature, we should be able to do that. The plane is already flying. Okay. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna recover from the procedure. And so remember that's simultaneously nose forward, add power, power. right? And remember, when, when we go nose forward, we don't want to descend. It's just simply coming back to a level attitude using that sight reference that we talk about. Okay. It's just bring the plane back to that pitch attitude, add, add just a bit of power to accelerate as we get to our cruise speed, pull that power back, and then we do the uh, checklist. Okay. Cruise okay. checklist. All right. Whenever you're ready. Uh, okay. Up simultaneous, just nose forward just a little bit, yep. Oh, uh, there you go. Don't let it climb, use some trim, because remember we put trim into the maneuver, so we've got to take it back out. Good, good. Let's get some of that power back, otherwise we will continue to climb. Keep that nose forward, okay, because that compass is a little yeah. bit above the horizon, so we're going to establish a climb there. Matthew traffic, white and blue sky, hawk, four and a half miles to the southeast of Massey. We're at 3,000 uh, southbound, slow flight. All right, good. Any questions about that one?
Uh, nope, I, I, I know what to focus on next time when I start to lose that power or altitude, add a yeah, little more power. Just bump in a bit of power. Okay. All right, good. So let's let's track the um, the beach here southbound again, and let's do the same thing, but now we're going to do it for the dirty dirty configuration. Got it. Okay, so again, altitude looks good. Right, we'll get through the before maneuver checklist. Thank you. We'll make our turn. Attack 12 mile. We're going to get power 15. The low 110 laps 10. Maintain altitude, so you're going to need a bit of trim. Okay. The low 85. You can just go flat to pull at that point. Okay. Okay. And as that flap score comes in, maybe start introducing a bit more power. Right, because we've just added a bunch of drag. Okay. Okay, that should help you maintain your altitude a bit too. Okay, great. All right, so let's go southbound over the shore and then just show me all of those things just kind of talk me through it as you do it okay okay abc checklist so we have the fuel selector to both uh mix is rich, lights are on, we're going to do a clearing turn to the left, 180. All right, let's go ahead and do that. There you go, you don't want to see too much ocean. All right, get that side picture set and just keep it consistent right the way through the turn. See how the nose is coming down a little bit? Yeah, bring it back up some. Practice area is coming for 5, 7, Echo Romeo. Make sure you're scanning. And you should even look through here. West of... Uh, at the airport, 3,800 slow flight. Right, good. And we'll, we'll use the inlet there as uh, our reference. Ashby traffic was coming. Uh, good. Whiskey Delta 4, northeast of Ashby. Uh, steep turns at uh, 2,500 okay. Ashby. So full speed or throttle 1500, increase nose pit. Okay, yep. Power 15, get the power up. Below 110. Below 10, flaps 10. Very good, maintain directional control with rudder. Uh huh. Okay, below 85. 85, flaps full, add some power. Just a little bit. There's the warning horn. Yep. Okay, so around about 50 should work. Okay, because this plane will stall in the dirty configuration of 40. Okay. But a bit more right runner because we're kind of pulling to the left a little bit. Okay, thank you. They're looking good, mate. Thank you. Yeah, this is right. Definitely a different sight picture when you're in reconfiguration, less of a pitch to maintain altitude. Yeah, so, so you want to bump in just a bit more power because you can see there there's a slight trend in the descent. Okay. There you go. Right, good. So while we're here, let's make a nice little 108 degree turn to the south. Uh, okay. So left. A nice, yeah, left turn left is fine. Turn. Okay. Yep, yeah, just a gentle bank. There you go, when you hear that warning horn, just nose forward just a touch. Yep. So if we're sinking, what do you need? More throttle. There you go. Uh, white blue sky on 217 Echo Pop is about 5 southeast of this ranch over the intercoastal 3500 mini range. So I see another aircraft over there. Okay, got him. So we'll keep an eye on them. This is good, Ray. This is good, mate. Thank you. Why don't we climb to 3,005? Okay. There you go. Good. 
Pass by the fairway, please. Skyhawk 2 and 7 Echo Pop is still east of the over the year. But we're climbing. Yeah. Yeah. Just a touch of right rudder. There we go. You're all right. It's okay to let the nose come up a little bit. Okay. The speed is not going to change all that much. Keep that right rudder in because my sight picture here is kind of... Okay, sliding. Thing. Yep. But look for that as well. Look for something out there and just try to keep it in the same place the entire time. Okay. Massey traffic, got a white blue sky, four and a half miles south of Massey at uh, 3,000, climbing 3,500, slow flight. Good. Just north of St. John's, Wildlife Refuge, 1,000 feet, you an S turn to go northbound, connection 219. Simple traffic. There you go, climbing nicely. Good. Right, and this is staying through. pretty Central consistent right here for me. Same, I'm following the coastline and staying right where it should be. Good, for one good, good. good. RT. So it looks like we've got a couple of aircraft here, according to the uh, traffic okay. information system. So why don't we make another left turn, 180 degrees? Okay, sounds yeah, good. Yeah, just so that we can give ourselves a bit more spacing. Ashby traffic, uh, 979 or whiskey. Yeah, don't worry about that. Uh, just readjust this to 3,000. Uh, okay. That's just reminding uh, you that you're deviating from your altitude. South of Ashby, 60. Uh, not too much forward pressure. We still uh, want to climb. Down, look up a little. That's the practice area. Scott 50317 currently about four miles to yeah, the see. Do you see an aircraft down here somewhere? 500 feet. Uh, Feeling southwest mountain. Oh, yep, yeah, there they are. Look straight out of your. Look at. Right here, 9 o'clock. Okay. Right under the wing. Yep, I see them. See them? Yep. They're right there. So we just keep that turn coming around. It's okay. We're not in conflict with them. Uh, okay. All right, but important that we see them. Yes. Good, so the recovery procedure for this maneuver. Right, here they come. Yep. Traffic. Um, we got them in sight, no, and, uh, Yeah, so the recovery procedure for this maneuver. Right, so again, we're gonna simultaneously apply full power, get that nose forward. Then we're gonna go one notch of flaps to 20. Uh, okay. Right, allow the aircraft to accelerate as we accelerate through VX, which is 62. Go ahead and get those flaps up to All 10. Up, uh, okay. To 10. Bad, right, want to do it incrementally. Yep. Right? And then as we get through All VY, right, which is 74, three, 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 go ahead and bring the flaps up and continue uh, your recovery. So it does have to be rushed, but right, you can do all of those things yeah. uh, very methodically. Okay. So let's go ahead and recover. Okay, so full power goes forward. Nose forward. There you go. One bunch of flaps. Just one. Headed north and west. Yeah, uh, yep, there you go. Now, we don't want to sink. We just want to maintain. Use your trim. Use your trim. Yeah, don't fight the plane. Like drive egg, archer, or correction. Nose so forward. Otherwise, we're going to climb. Okay. Okay. Not sure, like, about good. Good. And then they start getting some of that power out. Still want me to climb to 35, or are we good? No, here? no, we'll stay here. Okay. Yeah, this is fine. Okay, good. Get it trimmed out for this altitude. Okay, go ahead and lean it out as well. Uh, okay. And then we'll do some steep turns. Let's make a right turn to the south, over Lake uh, so that we're right, right uh, over the uh, shoreline here. Sounds good. Right, let's give it a nice level turn. Keep bumping about 30 or so RPM, just a touch.
All right, good. So this is one of those days where it's a little bit hazy, uh -huh. making it a little bit harder to see the horizon. Okay. But we'll just do the best we can. Okay. Okay, and we'll count this 180 degree turn as our clearing turn for the balloon. Okay, so we got full feet. We leave it lean for now. For, for, no, for, for steep turns, we leave it lean. Okay. Yep, it's in cruise configuration. Okay. That's the traffic of the Okay, the lights are on. It looks pretty good. Okay, I'm going to assist you with the uh, radio call. Okay, so bug your heading. Okay, so we're just looking for you to establish that 45 degree bank. Right, adding some back pressure and maybe 100 RPM as you reach about 30 degrees of bank. Uh, and then we'll just maintain it constant right the way around. This is going to be our reference, so we're going to use the shoreline. We want to roll out and then smoothly to the other side. Same deal. Okay. Okay. Massey traffic, got a white blue sky hawk about four and a half miles southeast of Massey 3000, southbound uh, steep turns. Okay, here we go. Yeah, roll into it. Right. Roll into it. Yeah, yeah. get a oh, nice steady right. roll into it. Is above four miles. Good, oh, yep. So okay, miles. just bump in about 100 RPM or so, start introducing that back pressure to maintain altitude. Back pressure, back pressure, back pressure, back pressure. Back pressure, good, there you go. Good. I'm looking good, Ray. This is good bank. Something just a bit more power, just a little bit more. Good, here comes our reference. Nice smooth roll out, beautiful. And then just keep nicely. To the right, don't forget coordinated rudder and aileron as we do that. There you go. Keep that bank, a bit more bank. Put those. Keep it coming, keep it coming, keep it coming. And here comes our reference. Look at that rate. Look at that rate. I'm pretty happy with that one. <laughs> oh, man, that was superb. Thank you. Look. That's like 20 feet. It's commercial level. Really good, man. Yeah, you should be happy with that. 217 Echo Papa, 4000 Massey, Mini Ring 2500. All right, let's kind of go off to the east a little bit. Uh, okay. I see that guy over there. Five miles south of. Uh, don't have contact. Don't worry, I've, I've got contact with him. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to have you come out here. We'll go a little bit over the shoreline and continue. Hey, this is okay. This heading's fine. This is Fraser Scott, four two four Coronial is about All right. twelve thousand. And let's follow the shoreline. like everybody's coming into play today. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll do back time as well. Uh, 11.36. Okay, good. So we've got about 15 minutes or so. Uh, okay. we'll, we'll, do a, we'll do a couple stalls. Okay. Okay, you see him over there? Uh, yes. All right, let's go this way, to the right, so that okay. we're not converging. Yep, anytime there's any kind of convergence, turn to the right. Uh, okay. Keep it coming, keep it coming around. Massey Brex there, you got a serious connection 446, about 5 miles southwest of Massey. He's down uh, 5,500 installed Massey. Make sure that you can see him. I see him. Traffic. Yep, let's maintain that visual separation. Uh, okay. Then once he's gone past, let's just tuck Massey in behind him. Serious, so about when he's under the wing, start that left turn. One mile east uh, of Lake okay. Ashby, we are northeast bound, 3,500, climbing to 5,500. Okay, good. So I'm going to show you how to do a power off stall. Okay. All right. So we're just going to do the maneuver only. Right. I'll, I'm going to demonstrate with you. Okay. Second time around, we'll do it together. 
This is good. The third time around, you're going to do it on your own. So we're going to do it three times, and then we'll go back to New Smyrna Beach. Okay. So, I've got the flight control. Got the flight control, flight control. Okay. All right, looks like these guys are going to go over the shoreline, so let's go over, we'll go westbound. Uh, okay. To maintain separation from them. You see why it's important to always keep looking outside in this practice area. Absolutely. It gets a little bit hectic at time. Right, so power off stall. We did a 180 clearing turn, but I'm just going to make us go uh, westbound. All right, very important that we pick a prominent landmark that we can follow. Just going to use that big lake. Okay. That's pretty easy. That's easy enough. Okay, and we're going to set, set up for this kind of like what we do with a um, power off stall. Like five to drive right, So both uh, two five go in, two miles mixture goes to full rich, north, at, uh, and our lights are on. Sorry, one thousand ground right. Like a radio five. call. Massey traffic, or white blue sky, Hawk 7 south of Massey beneath the restricted shelf, 3,000 westbound uh, power stalls. All right, so here we go. So we've got power 15, below 110, flaps 10, maintain altitude. Okay. We want to maintain altitude. We're below 85, just go flaps full. Okay. Okay, okay now there's 65, so what we're going to do at 65 is we're going to simulate a descent. Okay. okay, so we're simulating coming into land, we flare way too early, way too soon, and we stall the plane. Okay, so we get a nice descent here at about 65. Okay, and I'm just going to pull the power to idle and right rudder as I pull back for back pressure. Right, now the aircraft is going to stall. The, rec the, the important thing is the recovery. Nose goes. There goes the nose and recover full power. One notch of flaps and begin that climb. Okay. I'm going to climb through 62. I'll go to flaps 10. And I want to recover back to my original altitude. Okay, allow the aircraft to accelerate a little bit here. There we go, coming through VY, flaps up. Continue the climb out, and again, my reference point is right in front of me. Okay. Got the traffic up there, they're about a thousand feet above, so no worries there. And then back at 3000, power comes out. Okay, we'll re lean the airplane. Massey traffic, Seminole Connect, okay, and is about three miles south west That's the cruise checklist the complete. That's yeah. the whole maneuver. Okay. Right, from beginning to end. Got it. And we're back at 3,000. Okay, so we're going to do the next one together. Okay, I'm going to give us our clearing turn. That's So the key is, when you pull back, right, let the nose come up. It's going to slow down, right? And then what you're going to feel, you're going to feel a slight buffet, right? And then the nose is just going to start going down. And that's really good. Don't push it forward. Just relieve the back pressure that you had in. Okay. Right? The nose is coming down by itself. Relieve that back pressure. The nose is going to come down. And we just smoothly advance that throttle. It doesn't have to be jamming it in there and pitching up. Everything needs to be nice and smooth. Okay. This is... Uh, well, yeah. uh, this simulates a, uh, you said, a uh, stall on That's an landing. approach to landing okay. stall. Got it. Your base there is gone, 424, the runner is above. Okay, so just going to get out from here as well because we've got more traffic over here. I'll tell you what, let's go westbound. Uh, okay. Uh, just because we're going to use runway 2, so we might as well start preparing for that too. You have flight controls? I have flight controls. So this next one, we're going to do it together. Uh, okay. Traffic, uh, white, red, and blue Skyhawk, which starts, is a 3,600... Right, so we're going to use Lake Ashby. Going uh, okay. Use Lake Ashby as our reference. So we're going to do this a couple times, and then that'll be that for your introduction to some stalls. Sounds good. All right, so there's our clearing turn. Okay, altitude is good. Both Four. in... Yeah. Mixture rich. Yeah, mixture rich. Lights are on. Yeah, we'll make our radio call. Massey traffic, white and blue Skyhawk, uh, seven miles south-southwest of Massey, 3,000 westbound stalls. Okay, 
Alright. So now what we want to do, bug that heading, just to help. Okay. Alright, but that's going to be our reference. Okay. Good. So let's get that power back to 1500. Okay, maintain your altitude, so introduce some back pressure, below 110 flaps 10. Very good, we're below 85, let's go back to full. And when it gets to 65, just pitch the nose over, just a little bit. There you go, nice and easy. So now what we're going to simulate is a approach coming into land, uh, 65, because that's typically what we do. Okay, and now as we do this, okay, we're going to go idle. And at the same time, bring that nose up. Yep, bring it up, bring it up, bring it up. Right about here, look outside, make sure that we are coordinated. Okay. Okay, right here looks good. Okay, the nose is gonna go. There it goes, and then just let it go. Full power, full power. Flaps 85, I mean, uh, flaps 20. I'll do this first. Oh, don't five forget that right rudder in there. Yep. Uh, 262, flaps 10. 10. Now the aircraft to accelerate. There we go through VY. Apps up, beautiful. I told you already. Thank you. Very good. Let's make a 180 degree turn. Uh, okay, 180 degree. Yep. Because it's a nice little pocket where we can get up to 3,000 and not worry about the clouds. That turn coming around. That's back here. Back 457 at Grand Rio 3,000. Okay, so you saw how the nose started to come down. Yeah, it started. It was pretty gradual. It, yeah, it, it wasn't it, it, no, it, it doesn't do that. Okay. Right? So as it starts, that's why it's important to look outside. As that nose starts to come down, just relieve the back pressure that you have in there. Okay. And then simultaneously apply some full power. Okay, bring that nose back up. Flaps to 20. Allow the aircraft to accelerate. Flaps 10. And then clear it Okay. Right there, going for it, Fargo, on 06, southeast of Tell you what, let's follow 95 south. southbound okay. here. Sounds good. Yeah, we'll use 95 to help us out for yours. 803, uh, okay. Papa Alpha. This is Clifford Base, you copy the frequency. Clifford Base, this is 803, Papa Alpha, copy. 803, Papa Alpha, what's your location right now, please, sir? I need to get back up to 3,000. Uh, hold on one second. Now I want to see, see this plane. There's another plane out here. Uh, okay. 803, pop alpha. There they are. Right, this is all coming in. Look out, look out over yeah. here. Right, this, uh, right. Look out over this window. They're right there. Uh, okay, got them. Got them. Uh, got them. Uh, 803, pop alpha. Thank you. And no let's just follow this south out. You're a good man, John. There we go, good. Yep, so we can do it here. We'll call that our clearing turn. Uh, okay. Okay, this, this altitude is fine. Okay, bolt, ridge, lights. To the east of All right, the so we're going to pull power 1500. Power 15, maintain down. altitude. Turn, mass back there. Kind of like a slow flight. When that nose comes up, just a bit of right rudder. There you go, below 110. Below 85, that's full. Maintain directional control, 65, let that nose come down. Here it comes. There we go, just simulating a nice descent. Right, right, okay, you got a blue light. Yeah, so this is what we're looking for. That's our sight picture. Uh, okay. okay. 500 descending one down. Head south, man. All right, good. Simultaneously idle. Just bring the nose up. Idle, bring the nose up. Idle, bring the nose up. Yeah, bring it up. Nose up. Nose up. Nose up. Yep, bring the nose up. Don't worry about it. Yeah, just bring the nose up. Keep it right about here. Keep it coming. Four nose up. 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 There it goes, full power, full power, full power, full power. Flaps 420. We're about three miles southwest of Massey, heading east There you go. That was about 200 feet. Okay. Okay, nothing. Okay. Let's keep continue that climb. Yeah, so kind of establish that side picture up here. Okay. And then and then your reference should be out to the sides. Okay. Because when that nose comes up, we can't see that anymore. Yeah. So pick something out to the side, kind of like what we did in slow flight, okay. to make sure we're coordinated. The plane should not be swinging left or right. Got it. That means that we're gonna have a nice steady recovery. If we're uncoordinated, we can yeah. potentially end a, a spin. A spin. Potentially. Okay. okay. All right, these aircraft are very stable, so don't go worrying about all that yeah. stuff. But you definitely wanna make sure that you maintain coordinated flight. Absolutely. Throughout the maneuver. Okay, let's turn northbound. Perhaps just keep that turn coming. 
And 3-3 three, three is good. Three, 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 Keep returns coming around. Uh, heading to the here. Good power out. Okay, good. So I just wanted to introduce you to that, right? Because slow flight, stalls, they're all kind of related. Absolutely. In terms of the aerodynamics involved. Next flight, we'll, we'll practice those a little bit more. Okay. All right. Um, we'll do a power on stall. And then we'll just kind of keep building the blocks that way. But that last one that you did there was good. Okay, thank right? you. You kept it coordinated. You waited for the stall, for that brake to come in and to relieve the pressure. Don't forget you want to go full power. Full power. Full power. Okay? Good. All right. Why don't we descend and maintain uh, 1,500? Uh, okay, descend and maintain uh, 1,500. Yep. And do your descent checklist and I'm going to pick up the weather. Okay, sounds good. Information broadcast from Miss Myrna Beach Airport on September 21st, 2018. Power 18 Miss for Myrna Beach Airport Information Sierra 14470 observation. Wind 100 at 8. Visibility 10. Sky right, condition cool. few clouds at 2800. And temperature 30. Sure. Dew point We're going to bridge two, during descent. Altimeter, We're going to pull ridge three, already. Zero, three. Visual approach runway 2 in use. Touch free paint. Two party we'll runway 1 again. 1. Land Pattern lights are on. Runway seven. Leave the strobe Aircraft on as well. Land. Okay. Alright, and just a brake test. Yeah, uh, have pressure. But let's, now, you see this is 95? Yep. When we're on our way back to New Smyrna, let's stay to the west of 95. Okay, sounds good. Because we've got Massey over there, we don't want to conflict with any of that traffic in case they're doing um, right traffic onto runway 36. Okay. Oh, sorry, left traffic, because that'll bring them over this way. Absolutely. I could bring the nose up just a touch. Remember, we just want a bit of a gap between the compass and the horizon. Okay. Okay, so this picture right here is good. Because we will still descend. Right, good. So, let's go ahead and give a uh, tower a call. Uh, okay. Come on, pull up the Falcon or Bravo and let you know. Okay, and Sierra well, is current. 3012 is the altimeter, 100 at 8. Did you want a south departure yeah, now, uh, Dr. Sierra? Look, I'll tell you when. Yeah, Just tell yeah, him where about, uh, well, when we call, tell him Dutch about Sierra, 9 Dr. south. Uh, 1 1, but 9 south Bravo. west. With information, Sierra. With Sierra inbound full stop. Okay. 1 1 via Bravo, Dr. 6701, let's go. Epic 586, extend your down. You're following a company Cessna on a, about a two and a half mile straight in. Watch for the traffic, Epic 586. Front of tower, November 5915 uniform, request and frequency change. November 15 uniform, frequency change approved. All right, 1005. Frequency right. change approved, 15 uniform, thank you for your help. Good call. Hey, cool. All right. Epic 595, Ernie Smyrna Tower, Epic 595, about nine miles south east of the airport with information here requesting uh, landing a full stop on runway two. Epic 586, follow the Cessna off to your left. He is a full stop, your number two, runway it's seven, us. clear for the option. Yep. Not yet. Number two, clear for the option, Epic 586. Epic 595, New Smyrna Tower, Ident. Ident, Epic 595, and way to the southwest. I understand, thank you. And New Smyrna Tower, Route 455 is about eight miles south of the field and would like to request the closed traffic pattern entry. And we have information uh, here. Sierra. Epic 5, down to 5, make straight in runway 2, report a three mile final. Uh, straight in runway 2, report three mile final, Epic 595. Uh, Riddle four, five, so that's five, runway two over turn. there. Okay. The one that's going straight out that Riddle way. Four, five, five, uh, okay. Okay, we can always verify that with our heading bug, right? Yep. Uh, about zero two zero. Yep. That matches. Uh, okay. All right. Good. So we did our descent check. Riddle list. four, five, yep. five. Right, follow let's go the ahead and maintain uh, one thousand. So west uh, okay. and line up for the straight. And just line yourself seven, straight in. Report a three mile final. Right. And uh, maintain that Riddle thousand four, until about three miles. Follow the interstate for runway seven, and we'll. We stayed for the final at uh, three miles. New Smyrna Tower, Dutch is 6701 Victor, hold short runway 11 for Alberta. So line yourself up with it. Uh, okay. 01 Victor, runway 11, clear for takeoff, south departure approved. Clear for takeoff, runway 11, south departure approved, Dutch is 6701 Victor. 
Epic 569, turn right Alpha, pull all the way up to Bravo, hold short there, and contact ground. You're going to have to correct, because the winds are coming Alpha from 100. Oh, okay. That's going to want to push us to the left Epic a little five, bit. Epic 595, no need to report three miles. Runway 2, clear to land. Runway 2, clear to land. Epic 595. Okay, so we don't have to report. We can just go all the way in uh, the line. Okay. There you go, correct as much as you need, right? Make sure you, you want to get that runway directly in front of you. Uh, okay. And it's going to be okay as we fly the approach if there's a bit of a crab, right? So that means the nose is kind of off center. Uh -huh. That's all right. Yeah, that is okay. There you go. So because this one's a bit of a crosswind landing, and you obviously have no practice with that, I'm going to do the landing, okay. okay? but I want you to be on the controls with me to feel what I'm doing. Sounds good. Okay? So I'm going to show you how we do what we call a side slip. Okay? Not a forward slip, a side slip. Okay. Where we come into land with the upwind wing kind of tilted. Right? Uh, okay. Into the turn, back uh, okay. toward the wind. It's going to be sound. Okay. 586, this next one's going to be a full stop. I make 586, Roger. Okay, so I've got the flight controls. You have the flight controls. I've got flight controls. Okay, so I'm going to show you what I'm looking at here. Uh, okay. So we want to maintain 800 minimum. That's our TPA. Uh, okay. And I'm bringing that runway so that it's right in front. Zero eight thirty. Okay, so now I'm here. Okay. Epic 586, right. runway 7, the plane is doing this and that's okay because the wind is pushing the tail that way. 586, runway 7, clear to land. Okay, so now we're approaching the two mile mark. Okay, that's about when I like to configure the aircraft. Okay. I find that works for me quite nicely. Okay. November 01, Victor, frequency change approved. Frequency change approved. This is 670, Victor. Okay, airspeed is looking good. All right, and there's two miles. So just like we're doing the traffic pattern, power goes to 15, below 110, flaps 10, and just a touch of trip. Uh, okay. And let the plane descend. Nice and steadily. And now, we're not gonna land like this. Okay. okay so in the way that we do the, uh, the side slip maneuver, right, is I'm gonna use left rudder to align the nose with the runway. Okay. Epic 586, make a short approach. Epic 586, So we've got a nice rate of descent going in here. So we're about one mile. I go flaps full. Okay, just descending nice and steadily, right? I've got that two, I'm aiming uh, for that two. Got it. Okay, airspeed about 70, uh, which is good. Now you see how the nose is kind of off to the right. Uh, right so this is how we do that, that um, side step, right? So look, I'm going to put a bit of left rudder. Uh, okay. On a short right. approach, your number two. And you'll see. Runway seven, clear right. for the option, not enough traffic. Nose is now aligned with the runway. Okay. But look, I've got right aileron. Number two, clear for the option, okay. runway seven. Okay, but I've got left rudder, which is what's keeping me aligned with that runway center line. I'm just uh, using okay. aileron to maintain track. Okay. So I've still got that left rudder in there, yep. right? And I'm using right aileron, okay, to get us in. Okay. And I just keep it in there, and just hold. And there we go. Uh, okay. okay. Epic 595, if able, turn right Alpha, contact ground. Right on Alpha, contact ground, Epic 595. Right. You've got the flight controls. I have flight controls. Okay, I make it right here on uh, Alpha. This is Alpha. This is Tower, pick air, 5 2 seats, holding short, runway 1 1 at Bravo, ready for takeoff. Epic 5 2 6, New Smyrna Tower, runway 1 1, clear for takeoff, south departure approved. It's alright, runway 1 1. If that right wheel touches down first. 
Okay. So it's going to go eight, one, six, two, turn three. Right, alpha, pull okay. all the way up to and hold short of Bravo. Contact ground. And let's pull all the way to Delta and we'll hold short. Uh, right. Alpha all the way up to Bravo and over to ground. Good day.